Hi, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Koja Kuna and I love drawing. And uh, yeah, because of that, I filled another sketchbook. Today I am going to show you the sketchbook that I took with me to Tel Aviv. Why did I go to Tel Aviv? Well, I've been wanting to go there for ages. And now I had the perfect excuse because I was taking a workshop taught by Maru Godas and Marina Rechanik. They are very colorful, creative, amazing, inspiring artists. And they were teaching in Tel Aviv, so one plus one was like 10. Now in this sketchbook tour, you won't see any of the workshop assignments that we did during class. I learned so much. If you're curious to see that sketchbook with all the assignments in it, then you need to go to my Patreon page because I am sharing a sketchbook tour of that sketchbook with my patrons only. It's exclusive material. You will find a link to my Patreon page below this video. But now let's dive into this sketchbook. This is a Hannah Müller sketchbook, size A5. It's a nostalgie sketchbook, which has smooth pages, 190 grams and 80 pages. Of course, I start with adding my contact details and a little drawing just for fun. And I dive right in, drawing in my hometown Amersfoort with a bunch of other sketchers actually, which was really great. We went from place to place. There's a couple of the sketchers. After that, I also caught up on Zoom with another art group, which was perfect. Drawing the insides of a drawer only comes to show that everything is interesting when you draw it. Here's the start of my trip to Tel Aviv. We start drawing on the train. There was a lady sleeping, so she was just perfectly modeling for me. And then I had a couple of hours to kill at the airport. So I used my rainbow pencil to draw some people. Drawing on the plane and drawing from my hotel bed. Also adding a map of Tel Aviv and also the note that I got from the hotel when I arrived. And the business card. And there we go, starting with class. These are some orientation notes, drawing at lunch. And then at the end of a workshop day one, we met up for drink and draw. And I learned a few Hebrew words, having coffee in the morning, drawing at lunch and another drink and draw. Here's a fun drawing of different places uh, in front of my hotel. So I drew from the hotel and then also from the other side of the street drawing the hotel itself. I really like how this page turned out. Drawing on the beach using a little bit of collage which we also learned in the workshop. More drawing on the beach. This one I love. I could do this all day, sit there and watch people and drawing all the postures. We met up with the local urban sketchers group of Tel Aviv, which was really great to meet so many people and draw together, of course. There was also a closing party on the rooftop of the building where we had been meeting in the mornings. We had a little exhibition going on of our favorite drawings of the workshop. I had more time in Tel Aviv to myself to explore both the city and my sketchbook. We had some collage, good food, enjoying that, part of traveling. I was proud of myself being brave, asking this man as soon as I saw him if I could please draw him because I just needed to. And he was fine with that. He sat for me for, I think it was just five minutes. I used a brush pen so I could work quickly. And I added more people while I was walking on the flea market after. When I looked at it again at the hotel room in the evening, I added more dark and black in the drawing. I felt like something was missing. So I added the bright pink with a Posca marker. And I think that just does the trick. 
On purpose, I didn't bring extra ink because of the workshop. I wanted to challenge myself and not always going back to my go-to fountain pen. So I ran out of ink in the middle of this drawing. That was okay because I just kept going using watercolor and then also finishing things with colored pencil. And that also informed my next drawing for which I used another pen with soluble ink in it. Oh, drawing the Bauhaus, I had to include that. More Bauhaus on Rothschild Boulevard with some collage included. And looking at all these pages makes me really happy because it really reflects the week, the experience, the exploring that I did, the wonderful workshop I took, the friends I made, and this is just the best souvenir. And then, of course, I'm drawing on my way back home. And once I'm home, I'm taking a little trip again to Amsterdam this time to meet up with my friend Suhita, who was in Amsterdam for just a bit. And we met up to draw, to catch up. And it was so wonderful to sit next to each other after all these years again. I bought some postcards wrapped in this newspaper. I didn't want to throw it away, so I just stuck it in the back of my sketchbook along with the Hebrew alphabet postcard that I bought. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed that. And you probably also noticed that this sketchbook wasn't dedicated to the trip. It started with drawings in town here, where I live, and then it moved into the trip. Some people love dedicating a sketchbook for a trip that they're taking, but the risk is that you will never fill the whole sketchbook and you feel a little bit frustrated because, well, sometimes a trip is just one or two days or maybe a week and just filling the whole sketchbook in that short amount of time while you are also exploring the place that you are in and doing all kinds of activities. That's kind of a lot. So the pressure of a whole blank sketchbook is maybe a little bit high. It's up to you, but I never do it. I draw in my sketchbook every day anyways. So it's kind of like taking my journal with me and just capturing whatever happens around me. And yeah, I happen to draw more. <laughs> on a trip because yeah i have more time i'm not working i am frantically creatively <laughs> filling my pages especially on a trip that is all around drawing and creativity your assignment for this week is to go on a little adventure yourself it can be really small take your sketchbook with you when you are going outside anyway to do grocery shopping or whatever and then Take a few minutes or maybe a little bit longer to draw something on the way. And you might actually discover something new on a route that you are taking daily or weekly. Have fun doing that. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Check out my Patreon page and there you can also watch the other sketchbook tour of the colorful workshop that I took and I will tell you all about what I learned there. And of course, we can draw together. I have many workshops lined up online and in person. So check out my workshops. They're all on my website. I will put the links to my website, Patreon and other stuff I mentioned below this video. And then I will see you next week. Have a great week full of drawings. Bye.